Thank you for tuning in to SDN Channel 2 News. I'm Ben Wilcox. And I'm Christina Craig. The issue of speeding has been discussed on campus for years, and this week SDN 2 met one student who experienced the issue firsthand and investigated why tools to deter speeding from campus were removed from roadways two years ago. Out of nowhere, I don't even remember seeing the car. I just heard somebody screaming, and I looked, and the car was coming at me, and it um, was going so fast that it skidded because it, when she stepped in the brake, it skidded and it hit into me. That's junior Samantha Belzer talking about the early October night last year when she was hit by a speeding car outside East Hall on campus. I don't know how she could have brought the car up to that speed that for her to stop and skid like that because it wasn't snowing, it wasn't anything like that, it wasn't raining, so I don't know how fast she could have been going that nobody saw her coming. Belzer says that while she only suffered minor injuries, she still has trouble rotating her shoulder to this day. She says that she sees an overall need for better pedestrian safety on campus and that speeding cars is one of the ways that students are put at risk. Yeah, it's always been an issue. You know, the kids drive a little too fast for the conditions. You know, kids being kids tend to drive faster. You have a lot of line of sight restrictions because the way, you know, whether it's a uh, building sign, shrubbery, where you really can't see around the corners. Some of the corners and the roadways aren't built to DOT standards. STN wanted to know why if speeding is an issue on campus that has resulted in injury, why the school in 2009 removed three sets of rubber speed bumps placed near the village in Regents Park Apartments. But they were really hard rubber, and when you drove over them, it charred the vehicle quite a bit. So you had, you know, besides the safety issue, the, the negative side of them was, you know, university public safety vehicles, running vehicles, driving over them all the time, potentially do damage to them. You know, uh, it's very rough going over the top of them. During the wintertime, we had to take them out of the ground so you could plow. This is the spot in front of Regents Park where one of those rubber speed bumps that was removed once stood. As you can see, it wasn't very wide and it stood pretty high in the road, which made it more of an obstruction than an actual safety feature. And this is what the school wants to install more of, a speed hump. As you can see, it's much wider and easier to drive over, and it still forces cars to slow down. So that's what we're looking to do. I think they're about $1,800 a piece. And I said we're working with facilities, and maybe some of the students groups could get involved to put it to a higher priority from the university funded. I mean, it's a project that's going to happen at some point in time, but again, it comes down to money. Belzer says that in addition to drivers on campus driving at a reasonable speed, she would like to see more lighting in areas like East Hall and the road corners behind the Village Ones and Enlot. 